welcome to the next video of class 10th introduction to trigonometry we have already discussed about the different trigonometric ratios namely the six ratios sin theta cos theta tan theta cot theta cosec theta and sec theta now we'll be seeing how we are going to apply the trigonometric ratios in mathematics how we can calculate the relation and how we'll be able to calculate the length of the side or the angle measurement okay we already know that the trigonometry works on the right angle triangle so let us take an example so how to calculate the trigonometric ratio suppose this is a right angle triangle the triangle's name is a b and c right if we take in triangle ABC suppose AB is equal to 5 centimeter BC is equal to 12 centimeter AC is equal to suppose we have to calculate right or else suppose AB and AC are given to you and we have to calculate BC we already know that in a right angle triangle if we know the measurement of two sides there is a technique of finding the third side or the third side left by the use of Pythagoras theorem by the use of Pythagoras theorem this is very important topic some of you might have heard and know about this Pythagoras theorem also Pythagoras theorem stands or was given by a mathematician called Pythagoras. The Pythagoras theorem states in a right angle triangle, in a right angle triangle, the sum of the two sides is equal to the, the sum of the squares of two sides is equal to the square of the third side. Or directly we can say in a right triangle in a right triangle the square of the square of the longest side is equal to the sum of squares of other two sides other two sides and what is this longest side that is hypotenuse in a right angle triangle always the longest side will be hypotenuse the, that means the square of the hypotenuse will always be equal to the sum of squares of other two sides here in this triangle ABC AC is the hypotenuse AB and BC are the other two sides so by applying Pythagoras theorem we can say AC square AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square this is what the Pythagoras theorem is right so suppose we have to calculate this AC how we will calculate by using this Pythagoras theorem Okay. So as we know that AB is equal to 5 centimeter, BC is equal to 12 centimeter. As per the Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Right. So AB square is 5 square plus 12 square. This is AC square. Now AC square is equal to what is 5 square? 5 square means 5 into 5 and 5 5 is a 25. So square of 5 is 25. Similarly the square of 12 is 144. Now AC square is equal to adding these two we will get 169. 
Now AC is equal to when square will go to the right hand side, we have square root. Square root of 169 is equal to plus minus 13, and the length of side cannot be negative, so it is plus 13 centimeter. The length of the side cannot be negative. Remember this. So AC will be 13 centimeter. Now taking the trigonometric ratios, we have got the length of all three sides. Let us see how we will calculate this other six trigonometric ratios. Okay, taking the same triangle A, B, and C. This is five centimeter. This is twelve centimeter. This is thirteen centimeter. We know that there are six trigonometric ratios, and we have to calculate all these six trigonometric ratios by using this triangle ABC, in which AB is equal to five centimeter, BC is equal to twelve centimeter, and AC is equal to thirteen centimeter. Taking the first trigonometric ratios, that is sine. Let us take this angle as theta. So sine theta. So for this theta, the side opposite to this is AB, and this will be perpendicular. Longest side is hypotenuse, and this one is base. So sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Perpendicular is five centimeter. And hypotenuse is 13 centimeter, so it is 5 upon 13. This is what sine theta, right? Next is cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse is equal to 12 upon 13. Tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base. Perpendicular is 5. Base is 12. Is 5 upon 12. Okay. Now cos sec theta is equal to hypotenuse upon perpendicular. That means we have already discussed cos sec theta is the reciprocal of sin theta. So hypotenuse is 13, base is perpendicular is 5. Sec theta, reciprocal of cos theta, that means 12 upon 13 upon 12. We have to take hypotenuse in the numerator side and the base in the denominator side. Now cot theta. Cot theta is equal to reciprocal of tan theta. That means 12 upon 5. So these are the six trigonometric ratios for this particular triangle ABC in which AB is equal to 5 centimeter, BC is equal to 12 centimeter and the hypotenuse AC is equal to 13 centimeter. There will be some other examples we will be discussing in the next video. Till then, practice this type of questions from your exercise first. Till then, thank you and have a great day ahead.